Welcome. In this module, we're going to take a look at CIS control number 19, Incident Response and Management, and this is the second part of the series. This is the layout for version 7 controls, and control number 19, Incident Response and Management, is in the organizational set of controls of CIS. This is the system entity relationship diagram, and there are third-party authorities and incident management plans um, and mechanisms which we will work with or enforce on the workforce members. Control number 19.5, maintain contact information for reporting security incidents. Assemble and maintain information on third-party contact information to be used to report a security incident such as um, information, contact information of law enforcement, relevant government departments, vendors, etc. So whenever an incident happens, we need to maintain a list because we may need the help of third party vendors. We may need the help of the security agencies um, or the law enforcement agencies like the police, the fire brigade, um, the bomb disposal unit, or even the, uh, uh, for example, the law enforcement or the uh, investigation agency, for example, that is going to investigate if a cyber crime has been, has been uh, unfortunately taken place. 19.6 tells us publish information regarding reporting computer anomalies and incidents. So publish information for all the workforce members regarding reporting of computer anomalies and incidents to the incident handling team. How are they going to report the incidents? Uh, the workforce members need to know who to contact, who to send information to, what format they need to send it in. Such information should be included in routine employee awareness activities. Control 19.7, conduct periodic incident scenario sessions for personnel. So we need to do role plays, we need to do drills, plan and conduct routine incident response exercises and scenarios for the workforce involved in the incident response to maintain awareness and comfort in responding to real world threats. Like we talked about the drill, if there's an earthquake or there's a fire and the alarm goes off and it's a drill and people are informed ahead of time, we're gonna do a drill at 3 p.m. today. Um, it's going to be a fire drill and we actually check in, in the fire drill that everybody is evacuated on time. They assemble as per the plan and the staff is counted. So all of that needs to be checked and there are different types of scenarios which need to be done repeatedly and periodically by the organization. For example, a data failure or an earthquake or a flood or an evacuation uh, requirement, for example. Exercises should test communication channels, decision making, and incident responders' technical capabilities using tools and data available to, for them, to them. For, so all of these different situations, once they're examined, we should be able to see how have we has, a, has an incident been reported correctly? Uh, has the role playing been done correctly? Um, have all, has all the decision making been done correctly? And all the technical people that were involved, were they present, were there backups, and were they able to recover from the situation? And 19.8, create incident scoring and prioritization schema. Create incident scoring and prioritization schema based on known or potential impact to your organization. Utilize score to define frequency of status updates and escalation procedures. So uh, all of this uh, is very important because when an incident happens, we need to actually have the scoring and prioritization schema. What type of incident needs to be triaged or evaluated that what type of incident category incident is it? Is it a category one incident? Is it a category five incident? And what are the measures which are to be taken at category one and category five incidents, for example? So it needs to be determined um, that what is the severity uh, or the criticality of that incident. And for that, you can have different measures of how to score so that it helps you in triage, uh, which is actually evaluating that what is the seriousness of this incident. That's all that we have for this module. Thank you.